Good morning and welcome to a slightly late recorded day 162's vlog. So, uh, day 10, basically. Now, the long and short of it is there was two reasons for late recording and late uploading and stuff. The first being it got very, very late last night. Rowan woke up screaming and crying. I mean, absolutely distraught in the middle of the night. So, I didn't actually get around to recording my vlog last night up until like, you know, it would have been about two o'clock in the morning. And that just didn't seem sensible. And it didn't seem like a thing that I wanted to do. So, um, I, I decided that I would record it first thing this morning. And I'm glad that I did, because now, instead of having a playlist of like, oh, there's 11 videos, because, you know, it's like day one up until whatever, and, and every single day, minus a few. And then an 11th one that's got like a, a completely unrelated things in, and my weigh-in. I figured, you know, just leave it up until the morning, I'll do my weigh-in, and then I'll say what has happened, what the actual, like, full-on thing was, what the, uh, what the, the full... Uh, loss was over the course of the 10 days. So that's what I'm gonna do. The oven has literally just been turned off from making toast for beans on toast. The beans are in the microwave here, which is right next to me. <laughs> so I'm, I'm all ready for my breakfast. So how did it all go? Well, for the most part, I'm not gonna lie. Like I, I feel a lot better today knowing that I can have other starches and I don't have to muck around with like, you know, trying to, trying to like come up with a new way of cooking potatoes or like, am I using too many spices on my potatoes? Am I doing this wrong with my potatoes, etc. Like I, I know what I'm doing now, I, I like to think. And right now, even though I'm gonna try and keep it as close to McDougal as possible, I, I'm gonna allow myself like a little slip or two. Um, that being said, probably a week on Monday is gonna be when I start the rice mini. Might be a couple of days after that. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. I might leave it up until like Wednesday or something and then there's only one Tuesday weigh-in and that's like middle of it. So I don't, I don't know, like the jury's still out, but basically like if you've come here from the uh, Mary's Mini for McDougal followers uh, Facebook group, then you don't have to worry. I won't be posting any more videos up until that point. Um, if you want to watch them, you're going to have to subscribe to the channel below. Uh, everything that's in between that. But, yeah, that's entirely up to you. If you just want the Mary's Mini ones, I'm going to just post those in the, in the McDougal group because why not? Like, it, it's, it's a vlog and... It's about Mary's Mini, so... Yeah... Um, where was I going with that? I can't remember where I was going with that. I, I had an actual place that I was going with it, and then I shamelessly plugged myself in my own video. Sort of to explain it. Hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, if you haven't come here for that, then, you know, just business as usual. Uh, I guess. Yeah, hmm. I think this is a problem of it being too early rather than, <laughs> rather than anything else. I've completely lost that train of thought. Never mind, we'll switch tracks. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll send out a derailleur or something. Um, yeah, so all in all, I do like the Mary's Mini as a format for weight loss. I, it's it's a nice little booster to sticking to McDougal style. And it's a nice way, like having done it now, I, I think it's quite a nice way to get back on track after having like a few bad days slash few bad weeks. Um, I'm not gonna lie, the next couple of weeks aren't well, this next week anyway, isn't going to be my best because my mum's over. So at least one of those days we're probably going to go to a restaurant or order some food in or something like that and it's not going to be compliant. And so long as I just leave it to that one meal, 
might be okay. But then again, having said that, the progress that I've made on this Mary's Mini, especially compared to the previous two, like I, I think this honestly might be my most successful one yet. And I'm hoping when I do the Rice Mini, that'll also have much the same effect. I still need to come up with a whole bunch of recipes for it, for what I'm gonna do and how I'm gonna cook my rice and what I'm gonna do my rice with and all that sort of stuff. But um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm hopeful. And it's gonna be a nice little change. Like I've, I've done three potato minis now and yeah, it's on brand because I am the great potato mage, but you know, there comes a point where you know, I think most normal people get a little bit sick of eating potato, even if it's just the texture and stuff like that. So, yeah. Oh, well. Right. So, what is the long and short of it? How much did I lose? Or gain? You know, you never know. Let's keep it a surprise. <laughs> So uh, what I'm going to do is over here, I'm actually going to put in like a, a big block so that everything can just stay like organized and easy to see. Um, I went from, if I'm not mistaken, I went from 112.8 kilos. Uh, that was my day one, morning of day one weigh-in. That is like the, the heaviest point that I was. That is the first data point for this Mary's Mini. Uh, now, I did weigh myself every single day, but I only did like a public weigh-in and told you about what was going on on Tuesdays, because that's what I do on a Tuesday, that's my weigh-in day, that's my day 7, my day 14, etc, etc, etc. That's how I keep account of myself and keep track of myself. So, day 1, 112.8. All the way through till this morning, where I weighed in, at 106.9 kilos. Which means over the course of 10 days, I've lost 5.9 kilos. Or, to put it in American, that's this many pounds in 10 days. Which is kinda ridiculous, ain't it? <laughs> <laughs> oh man, like, I know that people have differing levels of success with Mary's Minis. Like, me, personally, like, I honestly think this is, like, the best one that I've done. It might be second very, very closely. I think the very first one that I did, I, I hit something like £12 down. But I'm not entirely sure. I can't remember. I'll, I'll probably put like, you know, how much I've lost in the previous ones up as well, if I haven't already done it. Um, yeah, this, I, I genuinely feel in myself, like health-wise, so much better. The only thing that I've got going on at the minute is my neck here is really stiff and really achy. And I think that's just because I have been like sat craned over a computer typing away because I've been trying to sort out my son's kindergarten forms and get all of that done because our print is playing up. So I haven't been able to print anything out. So it's been like just editing PDFs and yeah, like that's, that's just a nightmare. Um, yeah, I like, Mary's minis are magic. That's that's all that all that I can say. Like it's pure unadulterated wizardry. Like I cannot for the life of me see how you will do anything other than lose weight or maintain your weight. Like scale-wise, number-wise. I think like like non-scale victories, things like that. Like I can see tendons in my in my feet. I can see veins raised above the skin. Like yeah, all right, only in my feet. But you know, like that that to me is ridiculous. I always thought that I was like I was kind of all right, but yeah, like every single time I look down now there are changes and there are things that I, you know, like, like everyone who's been extremely overweight, like to the same sort of point that 
I was, if not more. We've all looked down and there's been like stuff in the way. Like there's been like chesticles and bellies and all that sort of stuff. And yeah, you know, like <laughs> it's never been to the point, I don't think, where like I've had to like lean forward too much to see stuff. Like, you know, like, like feet. But now I can look down and I don't have to like crane forward slightly. It's just like, Phew. yeah, there, I've, I've still got a belly, but like, it's so much smaller now after 162, coming up 163 days of being mostly whole foods plant-based because there have been some days off and things like that. But yeah, I, this entire regime, this entire like, lifestyle change of course it is at the end of the day a lifestyle change like i i genuinely do not think i'll go back to eating anything other than whole foods plant-based for like probably the rest of my life like i I'm, I'm gonna have days off possibly even weeks off or like just happened when i had my gallbladder out maybe even up to a month off but even just coming back to Whole Foods plant-based from that, even though I didn't feel bad, I felt so much better and healthier doing this that I, I, can't, I can't imagine giving up. Unless I'm like, I don't know, 102 and just decide, screw it, I've lived too long. Like, you know, anything to hasten the process at that point, you know? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what my future uh, my future will be, but this has been this has been brilliant. Like the the third Mary's mini has been great, and I only hope that the fourth Mary's mini is just as good. I really, really hope that everyone else's is just as good. It doesn't matter whether hi hi Daddy's recording a video. Can you um <laughs> can you give me a minute, please? Hi. What's wrong? It's all right. I'll be I'll be with you in a second. I just need to finish this. Oh, now we're now we're not leaving. <laughs> Hi. Well, what's the matter? Yeah. Um. Yeah. Look. I'll, I'm. Let's carry on despite the uh, despite the 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 little change in in everything that's going on, shall we? Um. Look. I I genuinely hope that. Every single person who's done this multi-group Mary's Mini that Atlanta Creole led the charge on. Uh-oh. <laughs> You're in the snack cupboard. I mean, I've got toast for you. No, you don't want toast. Oh, no. Oh, come on. <laughs> Look, it's okay. I'll sort you out in a second. Come on. Actually, I'll tell you what. Just give me a moment. The baby tax has been paid. The croissant has been handed over. <laughs> right, now that we're back, I can carry on saying what I was actually trying to say in the first place. I'm gonna seriously try and like do it directly to camera here because it needs to, cat. Okay, the cat has now climbed fully, I mean fully into a paper bag full of paper. So if there's more crinkling noises, that's the cat. I'm gonna try and do this directly into the camera as well because like, I think this absolutely needs to be said and needs to come across properly. I don't know what your numbers are. I don't know how much weight the scale says that you've lost following the Mary's Mini. I don't even know if you have lost. You might very well have put on through some quirk of medication or health or physiology or anything. I don't know. But what I will say is it does not matter at all what that number is. It doesn't. It doesn't matter whether you've lost less than me or more than me or the same as me or you've gained, as, like, gained an amount or, or anything. What matters is at the end of these 10 days, do you feel like you are healthier? Do you feel like you have done something good for yourself? 
Do you have something that you can look at as a non-scale victory? Did you stick with it for the entire days? Did you stick with it apart from like one rule that you, you couldn't manage? Did you, you know, did you manage seven days before you fell off the wagon? Did you manage five days before you fell off the wagon? So long as it's an improvement over the last time that you tried, that's a win. No one ever fails anything unless you specifically say that you failed it. The only thing that you do is make a mistake or, you know, choose to stop something and try again later. You learn. That's all it is. So I really, really hope regardless of progress, regardless of anything that has happened or hasn't happened or numbers on a scale or not, I hope that you've learned from it. I really, really hope that you've learned from your Mary's Mini or that you can look back on everything that everyone is doing. You can read all the Facebook comments. You can watch my videos. You can watch Atlanta Creole's videos. You can go and watch uh, the video where Brian and Jessica Croc from Crocs in the Kitchen did their Mary's Mini months ago that was like the thing that I think really sort of like pushed people into oh this is this is an interesting way of doing things all of that it, it, all of that knowledge and all of that learning process of all of these different people myself included hopefully everyone can look back on that whether they're refreshing their memories of it or whether or not they're seeing it for the first time. Everyone can look back and be inspired by it and say, yeah, it's hard. It's going to be difficult. It's a week of potatoes. Like, you know, it's 10 days of potatoes and some vegetables. But it's worth it. It's hard, but it's absolutely, absolutely worth it even if it's just an attempt. Okay? Awesome. Right, I am gonna sign off. I'm gonna go. There'll probably be a proper like video tonight if, you know, if you're interested in hanging around, if you're interested in subscribing, following the mostly daily vlogs that I put up. Absolutely fine. But um, yeah, that's it. That's, that's my Mary's Mini done. <laughs> Mary's Mini 3 Potato Jamboree is finished. And now I'm going to go and heat up my toast that's gone cold and my beans that have probably gone cold. <laughs> I'm going to have some beans on toast for the first time in like three months. <laughs> right. Have a good one. Hopefully see you tonight. Bye-bye.